you clicked on the video, so I guess you're in the mood for pork chops. Today, I'm going to make pork chops a la Florentine. My adaptation, because I'm non-dairy and I don't like onions, so those things we're not putting in it, but it's still just as good. So stay tuned. So here's a look at the ingredients I am using today. Pork chops, olive oil, vinegar, spinach, and some garlic to make the Florentine how I like it. I've de-stemmed the spinach and I'm using thin pork chops because that's the way I like to do it. So here's the spinach. As you can see, all the stems are taken off and I'm gonna chop those eventually. The garlic is already chopped. I'm going to use apple cider vinegar, cause that's what I have, and olive oil. And the pork chops there, as you can see, are the thin ones. You can use the thick ones if you prefer them. I put a little oil in my pan here and for a side dish tonight, I'm gonna to make mashed sweet potatoes. So I'm boiling the sweet potatoes as my side dish. You can have any side dish you prefer. So first I'm gonna wait for the pan to get hot enough so I can put in the pork chops. And those you want to make them golden brown in color. And then you flip them. Okay, I've already chopped the garlic, but I am going to chop my spinach into bite-sized pieces here. You don't want to have too much of a big piece when you're eating this. So it comes out of the Florentine or Florence region. Some people believe Tuscany, they call it a Tuscan recipe or Florentine recipe. Instead of cream, I use water or chicken stock or whatever you have. Today I'm using water. And instead of onions, I just leave them out. They bother my stomach, so I'm using a tiny bit of garlic. I'm using vinegar instead of lemon because I don't have any lemon. So vinegar is another acid you could substitute for lemon. So that's what I'm using. They're really starting to sizzle now, and we're going to flip them. Okay, now I'm going to create the sauce in this pan. The pork chops are frying up, and they're browning. I have to flip them shortly. This is where I'm going to create the sauce. So I take a tablespoon of butter. This is the point where if you wanted to use onions, you would put the onions in here with the garlic. I am not going to use onions. So here is my garlic going in with the butter and we're gonna saute this for about one minute. Okay, once you saute the garlic and the onions, you wanna add the spinach. So that's what I'm doing next, adding the spinach to create this wonderful sauce that's called Florentine. As you can see here, the spinach is in there. It's gonna wilt, take a little bit for it to wilt. And I'm just going to mix it around in with the garlic. Some of it fell out. Might be too small of a pan to do this. But once it starts wilting, it'll be fine. As you can see, the spinach has wilted some, and we're going to be adding some vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will do, or acid. You could add lemon juice, regular vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, because that's what I have, and I just use what I have. Cream or mascarpone cheese is what the uh, Italian recipe would call for with this. Or if you're non-dairy and you want some cream, you could use non-dairy cream cheese, I guess, or regular cream cheese, or whatever you choose. But I don't want it creamy. 
So if it needs any moisture, I'll probably add a little water that here, and I'll just add a touch of it while it continues to cook here. For those who wish to follow the recipe step-by-step step exactly, I'm gonna link Jada's recipe down below. It's a great recipe. She has lots of good Italian recipes if you're interested. Down in the description, I will have the link to her recipe and comment down below in my comment section if you tried this recipe or any other Jada recipes. I'd love to hear about it. As you can see, they are golden brown. So, okay, so here is how I'm plating it up. Uh, mashed sweet potatoes. I'm going to put the pork chops on top. And then my spinach mixture on top of that, whether it's creamy or not, that's how I serve my dish. So just to recap, I don't do dairy, so there's no cream in this. You can put cream in it. I don't like onions, so there's no onions in this. But make it your own. However you make it, make it your own. And like I said, I, I will link the recipe down in the description and you can make it however you want. So comment below with your suggestions on how to make this recipe your own. And until next time, ciao amici.